Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to tell you Jay, about why I voted for Trump in 2016. 2016, I voted for Trump. And there were a lot of reasons behind that, but I'm going to go through some of the reasons. Okay, some of the reasons was, um, one, I felt like he took the ISIS terror threat more seriously than Hillary did. Um, and look at the situation with ISIS right now. I mean, looking at common sense sources, we're winning the war um, against ISIS. Um, that's number one. Um, number two... Um, Hillary was tied into a lot of corruption. I saw Dinesh D'Souza's documentary, Hillary's America, and Dinesh D'Souza presented facts and taped recordings that are public information. Like Hillary Clinton defended somebody that she firmly believed was a child rapist and that she firmly believed and borderline knew was guilty. Um, the tape recording of her borderline saying that is on the, um, is on the, um, is in the movie, excuse me. And also, uh, Hillary Clinton's mentor was a guy named Saul Alinsky, or a guy that she looked up to. And Saul Alinsky's mentor was Frank Nitti. And Frank Nitti was the number two mob guy in Al Capone's Chicago mob. Okay? Um, Hillary Clinton invited Saul Alinsky to speak at her, um, to her class at Wellesley College. Okay? That is not a good sign right there. And also, there's a lot of Clinton corruption and ties to Haiti. And um, Dinesh D'Souza goes on, talked about in his, in his movie that um, where one of the textile factories was built wasn't where the earthquake was. And actually, Haitian farmers lost their jobs because they had to get moved off their land for that textile plant to be built. And a lot of the trailers that were given um, by the companies that the Clinton administration, rec or that by Bill and Hillary Clinton recommended um, to go to Haiti, a lot of the, the trailers that they sent were uh, affected with formaldehyde. It was just um, not a good thing. And and that has gone on. And as much ties as Hillary Clinton had to corruption, there was no way I could have voted for somebody like that. Um, because her husband, Bill Clinton, I mean, he did some good things when he was president, but he also lied under oath. And he blatantly did. And it also the the movie also goes on to talk about that um you know, that Hillary Clinton's supposedly like a um uh, an activist for um, for sex abuse victims, but she didn't stand up for any of the sex abuse victims that were allegedly abused by her husband, Bill Clinton. And it was almost like the women who came forward, they were scared of Hillary Clinton. And when they came forward, they would see Hillary in the audience and her eyes would be staring at them like the, you know, like the devil. And the movie goes on to say that. And like I said, Dinesh D'Souza documents his facts on all this. And... Like I said, that's why go see the movie Hillary's America, then decide for yourself. Um, rather, if you think it was a waste of time voting for Trump, or rather, if this country should have chosen Hillary Clinton or not, um, because of Hillary Clinton's stance on East Asia at the time versus President Trump's. Now, President Trump's East Asia strategy has changed for the better, and I believe he's doing a lot of right things, but I almost voted for Hillary Clinton because of that, but when I went to see Hillary's America, there was just no way I could have voted for somebody like um, like Hillary Clinton, and uh, Hillary's America is a good movie, and I highly recommend it, and you know, before you dismiss it as propaganda, go see the movie yourself, see what you think. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well, take care, God bless, bye-bye.